Okay, so now let's create our shell by modifying a cylinder. And the way we do that, we of course first need our reference images and we can put them back right here in these two viewers, the front and the right. Of course, you can put them in whichever you want, but the way you do this is you go back here to the options, configure, and right here in the back tab, we look for our reference. So this is right here, we want our side, like this, no, 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 no. sorry, frame all, and yeah. Okay, and right here, we want our back, like this. Okay, so now let's create our cylinder. We don't need to worry about realistic sizes in the beginning, right? Because we can scale it later. Right now, we just want to copy this shape. So let's copy the diameter as well. And let's increase the rotation segments, of course, because we won't be able to change this later. Anyway, what we need to do now is make this editable and throw this away. And let's go into our polygons. But first off, uh, we need to select all our points and say optimize. So we won't have any problems during the modeling anyway. Let's go into our polygon, select all of them and go into the knife tool, say loop. Uh, doesn't matter if you restrict, restrict it to selection or not. It's just a thing that might sometimes perhaps help you. Anyway, now let's just create a cut right here, right here. We need two right here or somewhere around here. One here perhaps and one here. And the last one will be right here okay so now let's select our uh, loop selection tool and we want to scale this down with these two axes so let's scale it down like this okay and now let's go to the back and select this this these polygons right here in the back so we can move them back a little bit perhaps and of course scale them down again like this. Now we want to copy these sort of shapes in the back. So again, we go into our knife tool loop and create three, cut, three cuts right here. One, two, three. We can go into our edge selection and select the middle one right here. And let's just move it back a little bit. Just, just not too much right about there. Yeah, that, that looks right. Okay. So now, we of course need to make this hollow. And the way we do that is let's select all of these polygons in the front. And let's make first off just a little bit of a bevel. Always helps. Extrude inner just a little bit. Another extrude inner. Pull it back a little. And now let's just see if it lines up approximately right, at least. Yeah, that looks about right. So now we can go into our extrude and move it way back. Of course, we can't go through like this because we would cut through our existing geometry. So we need to stop right around here. Then we'll have to make another one. But this time we need to scale this down. And we can just finish it off with the last extrude. We don't need to copy the shape exactly because, you know, it's right here inside. You won't be looking directly right there anyway. And the shells will be quite small in our animation. So anyway, that's pretty much that. So let's just see our final product. And now we just need to, of course, name this shall be and let's scale this down so it's again around these two those two centimeters right so let's scale this down some more and some more and even more like this let's see if we can catch the same number yeah <laughs> got it anyway now we can turn our other one on let's just rotate this one 
so they so we can compare them move it back like this and put it to the side and now you might think that they actually look different but that is just because of the funk tag right here and what the funk tag does is it actually smooths smooth shading across sort of these geometry steps so if we put it all the way to zero you can see all these rotation steps which you don't want to if you turn it too high you it will start to smooth out these sort of steps that you do want to see so what you want to do is actually find this sort of middle ground where it doesn't smooth out anything you don't want but does what you do want pretty simple actually so yeah that's pretty much it maybe you can actually copy this number and put it here as well yeah that seems to work so now we can work with with whichever one of these we actually want we can even make this one editable as well so it's exactly just the same thing as the one before and we will probably have to make it editable anyway because we will be adding different materials to different parts of the model so anyway those our those are our two shells of course the difference you can see is the inside right here but that doesn't really matter